Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 101. The triple number still kind of tripped me out. Anyway, uh, March 22nd. Let's just roll into this. It's going to be a very straightforward meeting, I think. We'll do the 3103 update uh, we'll, that we do every week until we ship this thing. We'll do our usual triage pull request discussions, and then we'll go over any questions, comments people might have. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to make this time slot with us right here, right now. So let's go ahead and do the 3103 update. Um, oh, I forgot to fix the tidy pull on that. So there is a branch 3103, the branch not to be created soon. It was created recently. In it is a fix for the default layout in wrong location. Also, in it is the fix for the attached container uh, bundle update broken that thing where doing a bundle update with attached containers didn't work. Still open is the WinForms uh, failure to initialize. Um, the GDI team is still responding, although they've gotten slower recently. Um, I'm going to blame build, since I know that's next week, um, and we'll might have to kind of bounce until like, next meeting, and hopefully they get back to us more. So that's 3.10.3, still rolling. I still want to push on the GDI plus team until I get a feeling that they're really going to give up us on us. And I still don't know that we have any other options. Anyway, for the biggest problem of 3.10.2, which is when forms not working inside burn. Anyway, I'm going through this quickly because honestly not much has changed since uh, last week. Um, so that's that. Moving on. Wrong way. Here we go. Triage. Bob, you ready? I'm ready. This is actually pretty good. Wrong page. Um, two weeks, eight bugs. That seems like a reasonable thing that we can work our way through. Yep. Um, and this is from Bob, I know. Uh, version strings. Oh, uh, yes, right. We found this internally. Uh, yes, file version string EX does not understand the the V before the number, which is bad, and it should. Um, so I think the question is, where do we take this? It should. So this is enhancing it, so it's not a breaking change. No. Um, now, previously, it would have failed if it had the V in front of it. Right, and it's not supposed to fail. So, um, so 3.11, or are we going to put it in 3x? Um, I'm okay taking this in 311. It's a bug yeah, fix. It's, it's a bug fix, I think. So, all right, you're gonna take it. I'll take it, and okay. I'll even assign it to myself. That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, well. All right, documentation. The documentation update element lists this element as not being fully functional. However, Wix setup uses it. This element is now functional. All right, so we have a doc problem probably needs more documentation about the update, whatever. Makes sense? Yep. Agreed. New bootstrapper fails to run when performing an update replace. Is this the same as... Oh, the race condition. Ah, this is the... How do we work out holding on to that? Oh, and Sean says we're going to do this fix here for that thing. All right, cool. Well, I actually want to talk about this pull request today. Uh, so what is what is this open against? This is 3.10, 3.11. It's a partial fix. All right, well, that explains why I didn't quite understand the pull request. So um, are we going to take this in 3.10, this is has been around for a while, I believe. Um, it was not introduced in 3.10.2? No. Um, the other one was in 3.10.2. There was always this problem in 3.10.3 where if your machine took too long, um, then you could loot, the old one could disappear before the new one started, essentially. Is that so what's true? the new behavior? The new badness? Um, I don't know if this is new. I think if they went, like, yeah, see, this isn't in 3.10.2. He's in 3.10.1. <laughs> so oh. so I, I think this is a long-standing behavior of if it takes, if for some reason your bundle, update bundle, cannot start within five seconds, 
and get to the point at which it gets its attached container, um, it doesn't work. I think that's the, if I remember correctly, that was the issue that we kind of found when we were looking at the fix for the uh, attached container in 3.10.3 for the bug that was interested in 3.10.2. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah, so this is kind of sounding like a 311. Yeah, I don't think this is a 3103. I think this is a 311. Um, and it only happens on slow machines, which it shouldn't. I, honestly, this might be a four thing because I think we need to revisit the way that this is done um, outright, just flat out. The old bundle should not delete the new bundle. The new bundle should delete itself, kind of thing. I think we just. Oh, this, to this is model. the problem. This is the problem of the new bundle, the updated bundle getting downloaded into the package cache using the old bundle's bundle ID. Uh, yeah, and well, and the old bundle, I think it gets a new bundle, but the old bundle deletes the new bundle, so it, it waits for the new bundle for about five seconds, and then it deletes the, bun the, the new bundle. Trying to clean up after it, right? Because it's like, oh, here, I've, I've temporarily downloaded you. I'm going to wait long enough for you to get started, and then I'm going to schedule you for deletion um, <laughs> by moving it out of the way and all that kind of stuff. So you, you, there, it, this always happens in an update. The old one deletes the new one, but usually, if it's fast enough, the new one gets to a point where it's like, all right, I'm up and running. I, I should be able to be able to move forward from here. Okay, because this is, okay, so essentially it's cleaning up the download Yes. in case the download is also canceled. Not even it's, that. It, no, it's cleaning it up because the user didn't download that file. Burn did. Right, right. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If the user downloaded the bundle, then it would go into the downloads folder and they would run it from there unless they get hijacked. Um, in this case, we're downloading it for them, but we download it to a known spot and don't want to leave it around if... If it's because if if the user runs the bundle, then it's going to get cached normally and everything's fine. Exactly. Someone someone owns it to clean it up, but this is a case of we're just randomly downloading something. That's so. right. Okay. So essentially, um, we're trying to clean up after ourselves, and in doing yeah. so, we're we're blowing up the new guy. Well, this is what happens when you clean up after yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we were dirty, it would all just work. Wallet and filth, and everything's fine. Um, so that's why yeah, I think no, the change in four should be that the new guy cleans up after himself when he knows he's being launched in update mode um, or something. It's it's not trivial. I don't know how to solve this problem yet com correctly. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, Sean has fine. started a fix, which I now know that it's a partial fix, maybe that if we can get ourselves started open handle right away so that we can then pass the handle to the, the clean room, then maybe that'll solve the problem too where the new guy will start, and as long as a process starts quickly, the right thing will happen. Yeah, and we're going to have this problem where you need to move to this new, you have to get to this new burn to avoid this kind of problem. This is a backwards compatibility problem. This is the kind of things that, you know, people are bringing, you should just make burn an engine so it can install. And I'm like, this is the kind of bugs you have to worry about that we've created for ourselves, where the backwards compatibility is hard, and when you get it wrong, you don't have any way forward except to, uh, power through and deal with the bug as you try to cross the boundary from old to new. It's just bad. So, anyway. So on the positive side, we could actually fix bugs in older engines. Not if the older engine can't update to the newer engine and have the new well, survive. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're just kind of stuck in so many different ways. So, anyway. Uh, um, so, yeah. This is going to be an interesting problem. Um, I don't even know how to fix it in 3.11. Well, Sean, do you want this in 3.11 to take another swing at the more detailed fix or the, the continuation of the fix? Or are we putting this in 3x or 4 to come up with the real fix and just know that there's this gap in the 3 world? That's kind of where we're at. Alright, cool. He's going to try that. So let's put it in 3.11 and give it to Sean and see if he can't hit a home run on this one. But it is not new breaking behavior. It is old broken behavior. That's a fun bug. All right. Compiler does not pass context values to component group child element extension points. Hmm. The 
this behavior appears to be present in the current development of Wixio. Well, all right, so this is a feature request to, um, thank you for this comment, by the way. None of the template sections really apply, so I'm completing this. Again. So this is a feature request. And the request is to pass more uh, information from a component group to its component. Yeah, all right, that's fine. It's a reasonable thing. Toss it 3x, see if someone wants to fix it. Sure. And I don't think those are breaking changes. I think they come forward correctly. Yeah, parse extension element just takes uh, params. Right, and I think you can add params if you didn't have any without a problem. So it should work out. DTF isolated storage doesn't work. Okay. Works in a console app but not in a managed code. Proof isolated storage. Mm. Needs updated to provide the required evidence. Oh my goodness. Is this like CLR11 stuff? I haven't heard of anything needing evidence in a long time. Probably should have the same update. Does this show me who said plus one? Oh, someone. Okay. Um... This is subtle. I'm not sure if I'm going to see this for a while. Anyway. Um, all right, Sean wants to take a shot at this in 3.11 as well. You okay with that, Bob? I bug fix 3.11? I'm, I'm assuming if it turns out that this is somehow not backward compatible, then yeah, Sean will do the right thing. Yeah. All right, cool. And it'll be good to see that in 4 first. Um, that on SQ, saying. package called without corresponding SQ. Yeah, we discussed this. This would be a good thing. <laughs> this is closed. Why didn't closing this resolve this? Or maybe there's another one open? Or maybe it's not... Oh, only... Pair. Okay, so it references it. It doesn't actually say fixes that. So, cool. So this was taken in 4, right? Right, right there, 4. So I guess this needs a fix in 3 if we're going to do this. Um, in 3. Oh, right, this is four. We can work around it. Okay, cool. So is this only taking in four? Oh, right, it would change the callbacks. That's true. All right, cool. Then I think this is fixed. So we can resolve this fixed. Um, Heath, do you want to resolve this fixed? Yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. BAs may be expecting it to not send that message. So, great. Very good. So, this cool. Do, 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 do. To where are we? MSPs not removed with patch related bundles uninstalled. Oh no. Describe it as small updates where we have The default state of the MSP should be uninstalled if the package's targeting is being uninstalled. Uh, whether target MSIs would be removed. So we're talking four, right? change in behavior for MSPs. I don't know that anybody would ever be, expect this to work. Is it now? We're leaving the patch behind when a patch-related bundle is removed. The MSP is not uninstalled. Yeah, it's not likely other people are hitting this. All right. So do we take this in 3.11, or is this a four thing? Uh, we definitely have, I mean, it, it would be a change in behavior, so if we wanted it in 3, it would have to be, you know, opt-in somehow. Then it's probably more straightforward just taking four. It would be really bad if someone didn't realize that this was doing this, and that would be... Yeah, yeah let's just take it at 4 and avoid the problem. <laughs> I don't want to create more backwards compatibility issues in 3, if we're not confident. Yep. 
on there. All right, same, or it is. Which is the same thing. Like we think the DTF isolated storage won't be a breaking change, but if it is, then clearly that would only go in four. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Wix finish dialog appears partially off screen. Why did they delete the thing? All right, whatever. Well, yeah, interestingly, this one had the template and then appears to have been edited to remove it, which I found odd. So let's just close this. This is a question. Is this simply yeah. a bug in the window stall itself? Yeah, this isn't going to be us anyway. We don't right. control those. Oh, and this is already closed. Running the installer with the command line backslash quote. Yep, eh, you're escaping the quote. Yep, there's your quote. And they've closed this. So, yeah. This sounds much like 2020. Yeah, this one. It's really annoying behavior of command line processor. Yep. 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 Backslash quote is an escape character for... Way too many quote. things. Yeah. Yeah. It, backslash should not be an escape character in command. They should have picked some other character. All right, cool. That's not bad. Rolling on. Let's go talk about this pull request, which may be a much less interesting conversation now that Sean mentioned that this is only a partial fix. Did I miss this? This is a short-term fix for this, so it's not really a short-term fix. It's a partial fix, right, Sean? It, it, it does not fix the whole problem. Right. Okay, good. I was trying to figure out how this was going to fix all the problems. So I think we probably need to update the message here to say this is not a complete fix. Although maybe 5328 is a specific, is that this one here? Dude, 5328. Yeah, I don't think we should declare this as the fix for the bug yet. Um, and this message here is going to say that. So I think we should say something like, you know, partial fix to get this or something like that just so it's clear when we go back through the history we don't go, oh, hey, here's where it's fixed, and going, how did this fix it? And then realize later, oh, there's another one of these that we have to go and get that's the other part of the fix. So the rest of this then is just allowing, so I went through this a little bit, it's initializing the engine, which means this is coming from outside the engine, so the stub now has the ability, or has to, I guess, pass in the engine uh, handle to the engine which means that instead of getting the handle out during the section initialize, which happens after parsing command lines and a few other things, um, we'll have it right away. So here we're just assigning it. And essentially, this code that we saw here gets picked up and put into the stub, get the current process, put the file in there, and carry on. And I was trying to figure out how this fixed the problem, and it doesn't, but it it's this comment here. Oh, I've lost my cursor suddenly. Line 45 here with a little plus sign, if you can see that. That says, eventually you'll pass the file handle so the child process has a fallback. So we have to do that for clean room. So what we're trying to do is get a handle to this current file passed down to the clean room. And once we have a file handle open, even though it's marked share delete here in 49, and the older burn process will delete our engine. That's fine, because we'll still have a handle to it. Even though it was you know, scheduled for delete, we'll be able to pull the attached container out of this file handle. The only trick we have to do is get this file handle passed over to the clean room process without having the clean room process have to turn around and try to open the file by path, because that won't work. And I really, 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 really wish there was an API in Windows that would give you a handle to the, with a with an H module, give you the handle to the file on disk. It seems like it should be out there somewhere. There was a rumor that you could use the H module handle as kind of like a file handle to move, um, to read all the parts of a um, executable because the module handle is essentially like a file handle or something, but it's just a rumor. I've never been able to verify that you can seek into a file, into memory using the H module and actually have it laid out like an XE, even though that is, it seems like what Windows does. So maybe it's a inside Windows book that will do that. But the problem then, of course, is that this is all taking 
advantage of deep internals of Windows that could change in a future process since they don't document it. And I was looking for some NT API that was documented, and I got close, but never could find the thing that I wanted. So instead, we'll try this, and this will narrow the window even more. This is essentially at the very, very beginning, as you can see in WinMain up here. Um, the window for the stub process being deleted before the 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 new process being deleted before the old process, you know, or the old process deleting the new process before the new process has a chance to get itself going. All that theory. All right, cool. If that doesn't make sense, you may have to go back and watch a couple of the previous <laughs> um, episodes. We'll call them episodes. Um, online meetings of the details of what we had to do with clean room and things like that. All in the name of security. Woo. All right, so we can take this even though this doesn't take us anywhere. So should we take this now in the 311, even though we don't have the other part of the fix? I guess it doesn't make things worse. Uh, thoughts, peoples? It's specul it is currently speculative that we will be able to use this handle here um, that got passed into us going forward. Thoughts? Sorry, why is it why is that speculative? Well, we don't have we don't have the code yet to pass the handles down. We were essentially betting that forty five will become true. Eventually we'll pass handles to the child process as a fallback. Right. So we'll so Sean is saying we you know always pass a handle it. So it's fine, it's just do we want to take this change in three eleven with the hope that it actually fixes the problem going forward? Or do we not take this? I'm I'm kind of going either way. Well, I I'm just if 45 doesn't work. So if the eventually doesn't work, um, no, it's truly so. It's a should we take this pull request when we have the code for 45, or should we take this now? thinking that the, the code for line 45 is going to appear shortly. This is a, this is a halfway step, right? That's, why, that's all I'm asking, is this is a half step, which is great to review. I'm, I'm, I like reviewing it so we can talk about it. That's cool. Say, yes, this will definitely work, or no, 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 never go this way with very little code. Yeah, okay, got it. We proved that this part works. But it's not enough. So this change alone doesn't get us anything, is my assumption. So should we take this change, or should we just wait until the other one shows up, the other part of it? So why why does it not do anything? All it's doing right now is passing the handle in a little earlier than it did before, but right. it's not going to fix any of the bugs that we have yet. Until <laughs> we pass this handle to the child process, it's not going to do anything. We've just picked up code. We've reorganized code so that in the end the same thing happens. And when we when we finish this eventually line here, then this new code, this reorganization of this code has a purpose. It, it is used somewhere down the line. Right now it's just doing the same thing it was doing before a slightly different way. And faster, isn't that the bug? It is happening sooner, but this isn't going to fix the bug because we need it in clean room, and this is only going to happen in the. I mean, this happens in the outside one, the 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 untrusted process. By putting the first operation in the exe is grabbing the handle. I think it's makes it much more likely that the race condition won't be met. So, right, so Sean, I know this is not for clean room. This is for the first exe, but we have to get this handle to the clean room for it to work. Or are you saying that it's not even initializing this section? Oh, am I missing that this isn't an attached container issue? Oh dear, I, can't, I don't have a mouse cursor. Maybe that was my mistake. Go to this, but there it is. Oh, you're right. My mistake. 
My mistake. So yes. Yeah, so these messages here. I thought these were. I didn't look at the error messages close enough. Bad. 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 Talker here. Um, it actually says it can't initialize the engine state, and my mouse cursor is gone. If you look at the gray here, error cannot find. This is actually failing really early. Um, this has nothing to do with the attached containers. This is actually the new process can't even start. So this is a better fix. Okay, I take back everything I said. This does actually help with this particular issue. It will not help us with the attached containers during an update that's very slow, though. Right, Sean? Am I, is that correct? The clean room still will not be able to find the attached container in this race condition, because if it's that slow, the process probably has still been moved out of the way by the time it gets around to thinking about looking for an attached container. So it doesn't solve the attached container part of this problem, but it should avoid this one. All right. So how likely is that? I mean, someone relying on bundle updates is probably also going to be happy to rely on on burn downloading payloads. Um, hopefully. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, it's, it's, we should bundle fix, updates we should. work best when you're just downloading the smallest an uncompressed things. bundle. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You are absolutely right. So, um, so this fix. So I'm going to back up, and this fix is probably a good thing to have. Oh, now Sean wants to try to elevate this to taking it now. All right. So I take back my comment on five two three eight. So we're going to try to say that this will fix five two three eight. It, and once there's a once there's a handle to it, even though it's shared delete, the file still exists. Yeah, yeah. So the handle's allowing us to we'll be able to read from the the section and burn and all that kind of stuff, no problem. And, um, but that doesn't fix the attached container problem because that is a clean room problem. Right. Correct. Correct. But sure. if we could pass this handle down through um, eventually. inheritance eventually, as this eventually says, then that would solve the problem because the clean room then would get the handle from the untrusted process, right? And he wouldn't have to turn around and go and do a uh, file open by path name. He'll just get the handle. So even though the file has moved on disk to be deleted at right. a later time, right. he'll still the have a handle to it matters. and still can pull the attached container data out of it. And it'll yep. all work fantastically, theoretically. Okay, I I understand that this is a this is I I I'm this is why I brought this up as the pull request. I I understand this fix better um, now, and the core of the problem. Just so people are playing along at home, are like, what's the big deal about this? Um, is that I misread this error message that this has actually failed to initialize the engine state section, which happens very very early in the burn process. Um, so, you, but you don't think this counts as fixing the bug because it's not going to solve the attached container, Sean? No, he's typing slowly. All right. That's for attached containers, though. This is, should work for the slow exit launch thing. Unless it takes even that long for the process to start, um, which there will be no fix. All right, so now the question is 3103. Well, I mean, you said it yourself. This is doing the same thing, just in a different order. Yeah. And it's very straightforward. Code. It's not even hard code being done in a different place. Though, so, though so this is not a this this change does not change something that was introduced in three ten two. 
does not. It's older. And it hasn't, we haven't had a bug until now. Although Phil points out that he may have been hitting something like this intermittently and not known what the issue was. I don't know. I don't know. What should we do? Where's John? <laughs> All right. Phil's going to weigh in. All right. All right. What do you think, Bob? He's going to give an opinion. Two people are giving an opinion. All right. All right, Bob, you want to voice a dissenting opinion on 3103? Mm, uh, I, I don't like the idea of taking stuff into, into a security release, but um, it, well, it's probably it? less less harmless than some of the other stuff we had to do, so actually it's definitely, you know, less harmless than no wait, more harmless. It's not as big as anything else like Clean Room, so um and I guess I kind of agree that the what we're doing today is probably not great. I think I, I'm not sure I agree entirely about who needs to do it, but I think the the model of downloading something from the old bundle, kicking it off, and then deleting it all from the old bundle is probably not the right way to go. Yeah. Well, they only get two actors in that, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. All right. Take one more look at it, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Probably three ten three. All right. Anything else? Questions, comments, concerns, things like that. We uh, saw a nice flurry of Wix four stuff in the last few weeks, um, or not a few weeks in the last week. I, I didn't look at when the pull request came in, but it was nice, good stuff coming in. Sean did an awesome cherry picking, bringing us up to date and fix some other things, some things from Heath that he said he'd bring across and. Just nice. It's like, yay, four. More stuff in four than three, I guess. That's actually, I think, probably what was the nicest part of it. Um, anything else? This is working out. So far, The every two weeks is working out okay right now, I'd say. Um, so next week is build. Go see all the stuff that Microsoft has to say about the future of the, their development world and We'll pick up again after that, so it'll be nice. We're not competing for anybody's attention on keynotes. Um, so, anything else? Phil's got something going on. Do, 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 do. Cool. That'll be great. We'll see. Looks Translated strings. I don't. Bob, you take translated strings in Wix three. Mm, you're pretty safe. Three. I mean, three eleven. Yeah, three eleven would be fine. Yeah. So. So it's not an but or. It's we'll, an and. We'll, we'll say the we'll say the normal thing. Start with Wix four. That's right. Just make sure that we get them in both. Yep. 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 Or just Wix four. Or just Wix four. At this yeah. point, start with Wix four, and if you can do it in Wix three easily, absolutely, we'll take them. Cool. All right, I think that's a good note to end on. Positiveness all around. Uh, you guys have a wonderful couple of weeks, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>